Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Great, Liam. Thanks so much for having me here today. Welcome to Meet the Boss Junior. Today I'm speaking with you, Mark Dwyer, CEO of Growth Studio and Director of Hudson Bay Capital Partners. First question, you might know I love cars. What's your favorite car? Well, you've, you've touched on something that's, uh, that's pretty near and dear to my heart. Ever since I was probably your age, uh, I've had an affinity for, for cars, uh, uh, fast sports cars like Ferraris. My favorite uh, uh, sports car is a Ferrari 458 Italia, which I don't have. Uh, I would like to have those. So, you know, if you can uh, help me get there, that'd be great. Uh, I also love big trucks as well. Living in North America, uh, I've fallen in love with like big Rams and, and Ford F-350 trucks and, and all that sort of fun stuff as well. Think back to when you were a kid, what did you want to do when you grew up? That's a really interesting question, Lynn. So I believe, and I don't remember this in, in my own words, but I was reminded of this uh, at, a, at a recent birthday uh, from my parents. Uh, my mom told me that when I was growing up, I wanted to not just be the garbage truck driver, but I wanted to own the dump. Um, which I, I don't quite remember that today, but that's kind of feeling, uh, feeling about right, considering uh, the, the trajectory of, of my career. There's, there's been a bit of trash handling. Uh, there's been a lot of hard work, uh, but I've ended up owning, uh, owning the dump. I want to hear all about your work, but first tell me your story. How did you get to be a CEO? Well, I mean, it's, it kind of comes out of that last question, right? So, you know, a lot of hard work and a lot of trash handling. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a journey. And I don't think anyone, especially, you know, someone that's, that's coming up through the ranks like you, uh, I don't think anyone's got a, a clear path uh, to be able to call themselves a CEO. And, you know, there's, there's a couple ways you can typically get there. I typically find either you go to school, uh, study, uh, do your homework and, and do a great job at, at uh, doing all your projects and things that your educators are asking you to do. That's, that's kind of one way. Uh, and the other way is to really find that burning passion for whatever it is that, that gets you excited, that, that gets you kicking the covers off in bed at six o'clock in the morning because you want to get up and take this challenge and either create something or build something or uh, you know, do, do what makes you happy and excited. And, and in my mind, you know, that's, that's the best path. And that's kind of where I've ended up, which is, you know, I found a, a, a passion for, for software companies. And, and even back to when I worked with your, your dad when he was at Microsoft uh, and I had a, a scrappy startup in the health tech space, you know, it, it, this passion really started to come out around building building software companies and and sort of helping them grow to that next level and and it got to a point where growth studio you know we've created a company that's doing just that it's it's really helping first time founders and early stage tech companies sort of grow to that next stage and you know that's why I'm kicking the blankets off at at 5:30 in the morning even the mid, the middle of winter here in Canada Great, so now tell me about your company. What is your product and who are your customers? Okay, great question. So uh, I, I serve two purposes. So first one, uh, I'm CEO of Growth Studio and Growth Studio is a, a, a company that's, that's here to help first time founders and early stage tech companies uh, grow to that next level. So this could be you and I, Liam, in the future could work together where you might be like, Hey, Mark, I've got this really cool idea for this super app for car owners because I love cars. And this super app is, is going to help you better manage your cars and, you know, pay for your cars and save on your insurance and, you know, make sure you don't forget your maintenance and all that sort of fun stuff. And, and I've, I've got a passion for cars, but I actually don't know how to grow my company to that next stage when I can go out to market and raise some money and employ a bunch of people to sort of come on the journey and, and build the company with me. So that's what we do. We sort of help, help these, these really passionate first time founders and these early stage tech companies to sort of get to that next level when they can go and raise some, some venture cap money and, and go out there and do, a, do more and, 
and, and better with what they have. And then the other side um, uh, is the venture side, which is Hudson Bay Capital Partners. Um, what we're really doing there is looking for these really early stage uh, ideas and, and tech companies and, and payments companies that are super exciting and uh, where I believe, you know, have the opportunity to be what I call category defining opportunities, which is, you know, being in Australia, you've probably seen Afterpay around and I had the opportunity to go on the journey with Afterpay uh, for a bit there and, and that was a category defining opportunity. It's like where your app or your, your piece of technology can change the way people go about their lives. And, you know, that was a, that was a really exciting journey. Um, we've got a couple more coming through right now. FinPay is one out of Australia. Uh, we've got another one, Tagger, which is a retail tech. Uh, one which is Express uh, Checkout and Queuing, which I get excited about because I'm an impatient person, but I still love to go shopping. Uh, and then Go Fetch Pay is another really exciting one, which is all about pet ownership. So it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty exciting time. So what do you love most about your job? You know what I love about most about my job? I get to meet really interesting people all around the world, like yourself. I get to help share the knowledge and the experience that I've been able to harvest and, and learn and gain over the years and, and create new leaders and create new opportunities for people to go out and buy their dream cars and provide for their families. And, and that's what makes me really, really passionate and really enjoy about what I do. What's the hardest thing about your job? Hardest thing? Man, back to my trash analogy. When you go on a journey like this and you come into a company when you might be leading people or you know, you're, you're collaborating with a whole team of people, you know, you're, there's so many different personalities that you've got to deal with. There's so many different uh, opinions and ideas and opportunities and priorities and life experiences that, that people can bring to the table. And it's the most challenging part is sort of wrapping your arms around all of that and being able to identify, you know, the really important uh, pieces of information, the right ideas, the right way to, to build something and, and create something and to sort of know what's the trash and, and you know, take the trash out. That's the hardest part, making sure you're not throwing out good ideas and good people. So what's one piece of advice for me as I think about starting my own company? Find the burning passion for your idea. And if you do find that you've got a burning passion for something, go and tell 10 people about it and get them to, to tell you back what that means. And if that idea sits with those 10 people you trust, go tell another 10 people. And then if that resonates with those folks and they give you some good feedback and ideas, just go and do it. Be very passionate about it. Never say die uh, and be very focused on what it is you're trying to do. I think as an entrepreneur, as a, a business leader, it becomes very hard to stay laser focused on your mission, to keep your, your team around you laser focused on your mission. That's actually another good point. You can't do it alone. So make sure you've got a team around you that you trust, that you respect, and that make you better and your, your company better. And, and if you do that, you're onto a, a, a real, real good thing. Looks like that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for coming on your sh this show and sharing your story. And get best luck with your future. Thank you so much, Liam. You, uh, you stay in touch and let us know if we can help you in any way. It's been a pleasure. The way you could help me is to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs>